about you guys. My brain hurts. <laughs> we have a lot of ideas for next year for 2023. It's going to be a little difficult to implement them, but let's start with this video for now. CL320 by Klein. Their multimeter with an amp clamp on it. Made for HVAC. Okay, I did add a magnet on it. Very, very cool. We got a few things to go over. So we're gonna go ahead over to the shop and do a few minor measurements. Uh, probably do a screenshot, a little tabletop, add all these together, see what you guys think. I'm not an expert on this, but let's see how far I get. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next time, bye. Okay, you guys, this is a great kit. CL320 I believe it's called a kit comes with this guy's here a uh, pro test Fahrenheit Celsius really really cool stuff this one I had to pay extra for I have a video on it I'll put the link below $50 in description excuse me have a video on this one pretty well done people like it I think you're going to find this a great tool. This is part of the kit. These three here and that temperature probe I told you about. Plus a bag that comes with instructions, things like that. Instructions for each individual item. Cool stuff. Hoping to put a screenshot of the PDF for this guy in the video, okay? Have not done a video on this. Have to do it. Really, really good stuff. This one here has a 10x on there a little hard to see but it does have a 10x on there and basically what that means is the rating that I do get on here is going to be 10 times so don't let it throw you off when you see the number okay the number on this should be 69409 on this and I'll show you guys how it works okay now we're going to get to the meter this one does not have a triple connection where you move the probe when you're testing certain readings like impedance and stuff like that, like my old meter. Okay. The light is really cool. It stays on, doesn't go off on you when you need it the most. So cool stuff that it stays on. What AC right now, you press the select button you go to DC okay that's simple you got an amperage here let me test one last thing I think I might have missed here AC you have a range here so the decimal point will move around on the AC All right let's not forget the range apologize it also finds your minimum your maximum setting you do have a hold button on the side right there Okay, let's see if it moves around on the, on the uh, DC also. It does, nice stuff. So you also get range on the DC also. You got amps here, which would be for the clamp right here. There should be this couple lines here, so your wire should be here. It should also be the hot wire. It should not be the hot, the ground neutral should not be around the extension core, should only be around the hot wire. So if you're testing a breaker, what's coming, how many amps you're pulling, that would be the way to do that. Okay. You got a little guy here which holds your lead so it can help you out. You can put this on a neutral and then test each one individual breaker hot. I have a magnetic uh, uh, magnet on here. I believe I paid $25 extra. Did not come to, with the two. Totally well worth it. 100%. Okay. Check the range. The range does move around. On uh, the amp setting. Nice. Got a smaller amp setting. Four amps on here. AC. The amp settings are for AC. I don't see an amp setting for DC. Okay. Here we got continuity. It also has ohm readings on there. So that would be my ohms rating 0003.3, excuse me. And you have an audible alert. If you don't want to use that audible alert, 
you can go to straight ohms. Okay. That's my ohms reading on there. Resistance, ohms. I must have been a teenager. We were working with oscilloscopes, testing resistors, had to learn the resistor code isn't very hard. You can test things on boards and see whether they're working, they're not working with resistance. Okay, uh, you can also test copper versus aluminum, distance on extension core and stuff like that. You should get a, a higher resistor reading the more the current has to travel. Okay. And F, I have to find out what that means. Put the description below. I believe that's for capacitors, capacitance. Okay, reading. So that's what that's for. Okay. Now this other one here. I'm not sure if I have to find out what that means, okay? The next one would be, looks like, A, this says DC. Let's see if it goes to ADC. It does not test DC. This could be milliamps, see if range doesn't test there. I'll have to find out what that reading is. I normally don't use that. I believe I said I'm not an expert in the intro. <laughs> so things to look up, how things work, if you need to go there. If I bring it to the Hertz, it's going to have audible beep because I don't have the leads testing the Hertz in the proper format. Hertz would be mostly for motors, light fixtures, things like that, where you have 50, 60 Hertz is what we work with here. Uh, different areas would be different Hertz, just like they use different amps. We use 1520 as the basis over here, 240 in Europe, other places, we use 510, things like that. So this guy can work worldwide. You just have to have an understanding of the location where you're working at is that good okay for the price range i don't think you're gonna get anything better period hands down and with the probe that comes with the kit you can test fahrenheit and celsius great deal okay i hope to perform a couple of very simple tests here we on voltage and we on ac a little tricky on here to get this to work sorry about that The hot side is a small side. People forget that too easy. Larger side is a neutral. So we got 121.7. Okay. This outlet's connected together. Should get the same on here. 121.7. Next, we're just going to test continuity real quick. Just to sit, check something. Because the ground and the neutral actually fuse together over here at the exterior service panel. The main panel that comes in for the building. We have a main service panel per three units. Each unit has a sub panel. So this should sound off. Okay, so they are connected together. Things are working lovely here. They're working correctly. You can also read voltage through the ground. If you have an open neutral or open ground, you can kind of find out by. 121.8 by using the ground also okay this time we're going to put it in amps and remember this is going to be a 10 times reading on here we got 26 point so this is actually 2.6 amps i'm pulling on the key machine okay so that's how it works around the hot only try to put it around the extension cord you're going to get improper reading okay has to be around the hot side only, which we discussed is a small one, if it's wired correctly. So it'll throw you off using this tool, thinking you got 26, you're pulling 26 amps on a 15 amp breaker. When this is only a 15 amp tool, it's not. It has the rating on there 10 times. So that's what you're getting with this device. Okay? You could also use this as I suggested on what the hot wire on a breaker coming out to see what you're pulling on that particular circuit. Okay, let's see what we got. This should be a PDF file for this unit. Gonna have information here I couldn't cover. I'm not an expert, but I just want you guys to see the information. See what you guys think. If there's something here that's relevant to you guys, useful, or not necessary, okay? It's only a few pages. 
you guys can definitely pause the video as I described there around the hot wire only I do have a couple alligator clips I didn't show you guys that I do use from time to time I have to have the wires hold in place while I take a reading so I believe this might be the last page here before it goes yep goes to Espanol that's it